Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about turbocharging anything, any engine that you want to turbocharge, especially the older cars, which have carburetors. The newer cars have fuel injection, so when you turbocharge those cars, you have to go to a dyno tuner to get the fuel and spark and everything to work together. But if you have an older car with a carburetor, especially a four barrel carburetor, turbocharging, you can turbocharge anything real easily. And this is how. You need an intake manifold that has a Holly bolt pattern, such as this engine right here, which is a 4.5 or 274 cubic inch race engine stroker with a custom T66 turbo, external wastegate, which dumps to the atmosphere. This engine here, all you need, if you want to turbocharge a carburetor engine, you need a turbocharger, oil supply line, which is right there. You can tap into by the oil pressure sensor close to the oil filter. And then you have your, see how I teed into the place where the oil pressure sender is? And then you got the oil supply. And then you need an oil return, which is right here. The oil returns, returns to a place in the intake manifold where the valve train is, your lifters and your rockers and things like that, and your camshaft. And you have an oil return line, which I will show you the rest of it, which is right under the turbocharger. You have to find an oil return which is right there. Oil return goes right into, back into the oil system. Now, putting everything together, you need what's called a blow-through carburetor. And I will show you a blow-through carburetor. Here we go. Now I will show you a specific blow-through carburetor because a lot of people ask me in the comments what the part number is. And this is the part number of a quick fuel blow through turbocharged carburetor. And here's what it looks like. Here's your blow through annular carburetor. It's a 650 cubic feet per minute or 650 CFM. It bolts onto the intake manifold I showed you with a Holly pattern where you can see on the bottom. This is the bolt pattern. Holly, the Edelbrock bolt to this pattern. And it is a nice double pumper, quick fuel, four barrel carburetor. And it's designed for blow through application. Now this style of turbocharging, you can actually put an intercooler on it. And I'll show you another form of turbocharging in a minute, which does not require an intercooler. Now, Boost goes through a car pad, which is what this is. This goes on top of the turbocharger to seal your boost to the carburetor. And this part goes to the intercooler. So after you go from your turbocharger to your intercooler, and after the intercooler, you come to the car pad, and this is where the boost introduces itself to the carburetor. And you blow through the boost inside there, and that shoves the fuel air mixture and boost into your intake manifold, creating your blow through turbo setup. So essentially with this setup, this blow through turbo setup, you can turbocharge any car that you can fabricate a four bolt Holly manifold bolt pattern to. Now, the Holly four barrel manifolds, they make them for so many vehicles. You can find them, especially for the older vehicles. You can find intake manifolds with four barrel carburetors for Holly, Edelbrock, and uh, other Carter AFB and other manufacturers. Co Rochester Quadrajet's a whole different bolt pattern, so you have to have an adapter if you want to go for a Quadrajet. But this is designed for blow through boost to blow through the carburetor and for every pound of boost it gives you more fuel and then of course have an ignition system 
which you can buy what's called an MSD box, a Boost Timing Master, which gives you one degree of timing, one degree of negative or retard timing for every pound of boost. So you do that in combination with this blow-through carburetor, you can essentially turbocharge any carbureted vehicle. Now, this is called blow-through turbocharging. Now, the other form of turbocharging I'm gonna talk about is what came factory equipped in this 1980 Buick Regal Sport Coupe Turbo. Now, that was called draw-through turbocharging. And draw-through turbocharging, you can also do to any vehicle if you wanna not run the fuel injection. Because fuel injection, if your car came with fuel injection, you wanna run fuel injection if you wanna do a turbo project. As long as it's OBD2, 96 and newer, you can go to a dyno tuner and they can get special tunes to run with boost on your modern fuel injected engine. But if you have a carbureted engine, blow through turbocharging is the best way to go. Now, another form of turbocharging is called draw through turbocharging, which I have an example of here. Now, back in the 80s, 70s and 80s, they had a turbocharger here. This is the exhaust section of the turbine. This is the intake of the turbo, which is called the compressor. The fuel and air would mix in the carburetor and go right into the intake of the turbocharger and then be forced with the fuel and air mixture into your intake manifold right there. So you don't need an intercooler for this setup because you have fuel and air mixing in the turbo's compressor and it goes directly to your intake manifold. So the fuel mixing with the air is gonna cool the fuel air mixture as it goes to the intake manifold. So you do not need an intercooler. But if you wanna cool the boosted, the boosted air even more, you can inject a meth injection nozzle right here. And that's your form of intercooling for draw through turbocharging. So draw through turbocharging has its advantages. It's really easy to set up. And blow through turbocharging has a really good advantage is you can run an air to air intercooler from here to here. Then the fuel mixes here. Whereas draw through the fuel and air mix into the turbo compressor. So intercooling would not work because then you'd have fuel in your intercooler. So draw through turbocharging mixes fuel and air with the boost and goes directly to your intake manifold. Whereas blow through turbocharging, you go from your turbocharger to your intercooler, to your inlet tube. This is the carb hat that goes over your carburetor. Then the boosted air goes through the carburetor and this carburetor senses the pressure of boost and gives you more fuel for every pound of boost increase. So this blow through carburetor is designed for turbo boost. So you can practically turbocharge any vehicle that has carburetor or you convert to carburetor. So blow through turbocharging, in my opinion, is one of the best forms of turbocharging there is. Now, in the modern day, Holly makes a fuel system called XFI, which looks like a carburetor, but it's really fuel injection and it bolts to the Holly pattern, just like this intake manifold over here. It's a Holly bolt pattern. Now the XFI fuel injection has enough sensors to manage your boost and timing. So that particular modification is probably a little bit more, it's a lot more expensive than this carburetor, but it allows you to have a computer to control your fuel and air mixed with your timing. So it's a lot easier to do a Holly XFI system than a blow through carburetor. Because the blow through carburetor, you'll have to get some different gauges in your cockpit for fuel air mixture, exhaust temperature, boost pressure, engine temp, fuel pressure. Because all of those are important when you're blow through turbocharging. And blow through turbocharging has an advantage because you don't need a lot of fuel pressure to run this carburetor, blow through carburetor setup. Whereas fuel injection, you have to have a higher pressure fuel pump. 
So this is the easiest form of turbocharging, blow through turbocharging. And that's the part number if you guys want to order one at Summit Racing or any other place that carries the quick fuel blow through carburetor, which is what puts your turbo system together if you have a carbureted vehicle. If you have a fuel injected vehicle, you want to order the Holly XFI system. As long as you can get an intake manifold with the Holly four barrel bolt pattern. And that's a few basics right here on turbocharging. Of course, draw through turbocharging, you can run any carburetor for draw through turbocharging because the boost doesn't go through the top of the carburetor. The boost is mixed with the fuel and goes directly to the intake manifold, which is an easier form of turbocharging for carbureted vehicles. So there's advantages and disadvantages to these two types of turbocharging. If you have a carbureted vehicle, an old school vehicle with a V8, a V6, a four cylinder that has a way to get a four barrel intake manifold, you can do this setup here and you can turbocharge practically anything that you can fabricate a four, a Holly bolt pattern on. So you make a custom flange or manifold or anything like that and you can either blow through or draw through. See how the draw through turbo setup is mounted to like a manifold and the manifold goes to the intake of the turbo's compressor gets compressed under pressure and blows into the intake manifold directly with fuel and air mixture already there. So these are two forms of turbocharging that are really interesting because you can turbocharge any carbureted vehicle with this. Now, turbo Buicks also came fuel injected as well. If you would like to simplify your turbo Buick, you can go through a blow through turbo setup because you can get an intake manifold that fits turbo buicks offenhauser and edelbrock both make the intake manifold that bolts to the turbo buick 3.8 so if you want to do a turbo 3.8 buick pontiac or oldsmobile you can find intake manifolds with the four barrel holly bolt pattern and you can run one of these quick fuel flow through annular carburetors like this so that's how my project 3.8 Buick is gonna go. I'm gonna go with this blow through turbo setup, but from the factory, this car came with the draw through turbo setup, which is good, but blow through is better because you can get an air to air intercooler cooling your boosted air before it gets to your carburetor's fuel mixture, where it mixes the fuel and boost together and gives you the best bang for the buck and the best performance. And of course, if you choose a Holly XFI system, it bolts in the same place that this does, but it requires higher fuel pressure and it has compute, its own computer and a bunch of sensors to give you readings and live real data that computerized fuel injection gives you. Also known as a throttle body injection unit. So, Here's some food for thought and tools for the toolbox. If you want to turbocharge something with a carburetor, blow through turbocharging, in my opinion, is one of the best ways to do so. And that's a carburetor you can find at any high performance shop like Summit Racing, Jegs, and some others. You can find this blow through carburetor and that will allow you to join your turbocharging and your old school V8, V6, four cylinder with a four barrel intake manifold, it brings everything together. It's easier to tune, it's all mechanical, there's no computers required, unless you want like an injection computer such as the MSD Boost Timing Master, which I can show you over here. The Boost Timing Master gives you timing. I just have to find this thing. It's in my 87 Buick. Boost Timing Master, where are you hiding at? It's hiding in here somewhere. Boost Timing Master. 
Well, that sucks. I can't find it. <laughs> but the Boost Humming Master allows you to, it hooks to your HEI distributor, which in most GM vehicles have, and it allows you to go one degree negative retard for every pound of boost. So it will adjust your timing and give you more spark with your blow through carburetor. So those things working together, you'll have a great running turbocharged old school vehicle or any vehicle that has a carburetor that you can fabricate a four barrel carburetor bolt pattern too. So, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video and, you know, I hope it helps you with your project, especially if you got an old school carbureted vehicle and you want to turbocharge. This will put everything together. So have a great day and boost everything. Take care now. Bye-bye.